Hi, in this lecture we are going to discuss about integrator using op-amp. So if you look here you can see this is the circuit for integrator using operational amplifier. Here we have an input voltage V1 and we will get the output voltage V0. Okay. Now the input voltage V1 is connected to the inverting terminal of the operational amplifier through the resistor R. Clear? And the non-inverting terminal is grounded. Here we have a feedback circuit. Clear? Here we have a feedback circuit from the output to the inverting input. But it is connected through a capacitor C instead of the RF resistor. So, this is similar to the inverting amplifier. Okay, inverting amplifier circuit is similar, but the only difference is instead of RF resistor, here we have the capacitor. Okay, that is the only difference. Now, an integrator is a circuit that performs mathematical operation called integration. Integration performs in mathematics. So, same thing. Integration perform the circuit we call integrator. Okay? Now, integration is a process of continuous addition. Okay? Continuous addition we call integration. And the most popular application is to produce a ramp of output voltage. Ramp. Output voltage is a ramp produce integrator application. Which can be linearly increasing or decreasing. Which can be increasing or decreasing. Okay. Here you can see this is the input voltage V in. This is the input voltage V in. And uh, this is our output voltage V0. Clear? So when we apply. Namala input voltage sinusoidal voltage. Here namala kodutthi tullar yo square wave. So when we apply the voltage V. We uh, the integrated voltage and output. Okay. This voltage is linearly decreasing. From 0, it is linearly decreasing to a minus voltage. Particular minus voltage. This is time duration. So, time duration on the note. Okay. So, this is our input voltage and this is our output voltage. Corresponding output voltage. Clear? Now, the circuit is similar to the circuit of inverting amplifier. We already know instead of RF resistor, we have C. Now, the input voltage can be represented as V is equal to V of T. Uh, v of T is the input voltage in represent. That is the input current in I of T. Okay? Feedback through capacitor introduces a virtual ground at the inverting terminal. Already discussed here we will get a virtual ground. Okay, we will get a virtual ground because uh, virtual short on and this non inverting terminal is grounded. So, obviously, this inverting terminal will be virtually grounded. Clear now the output voltage can be derived from the current I which flows from input to output. Current flowing direction and I in the bar another direction lana current flow jay. Okay. Now your operational amplifier and input like current flow jay in the Okay. So obviously E input current flow jay in the angodana output like flow jay. Clear? Output like flow jay. So E output E current you say that the output voltage conduitum in the Ladana Paranitula. Okay. So other engine conduitum in the Ladanoka. Okay. Here we can write I of T is equal to V of T divided by R. Okay. And output voltage and output voltage. Voltage can be written as can be written as V of is equal to minus 1 by c integral i t dt now we can combine these two equations here and equations we can combine substitute the value of i t this value of i t uh, here here we can substitute the value and found out, find out the output voltage so here we can write v0 is equal to minus 1 by c integral p of t by r 
into dt okay now the, what is v of t v of t is the input voltage clear so we can simply write the output voltage v0 is equal to minus 1 by rc integral v in or we can say v1 or vi okay dt plus a this is the proportionality constant integral constant we can say so this is the equation for our output voltage this is the equation for our output voltage clear so v0 is equal to minus 1 by rc integral v in dt plus a now a is the integration constant and is proportional to the value of output voltage v out e value in a proportional on okay at the time t is equal to 0 the output voltage is the integral of the input voltage so if you look at the output voltage is the integral of input voltage this is our input voltage v in okay and with an inversion and scale factor of 1 by rc now scale factor in the way, 1 by rc another scale factor okay inversion means and then the positive voltage and negative on the output clear input voltage positive on angle output voltage negative okay decreasing voltage okay so that is inversion in the loan to mean general so integrator in the top of the helpful eye in the pradesh